Hey everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain HVMC, and these are our top five helmets under $150. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in with us. Today, we are talking all about helmets under $150. If you shop for a helmet on a budget, that's what this video is for. Shopping for a helmet is pretty tough. There's a lot of great options out there, so hopefully today, you'll find a couple options that you really like as we go through and we talk about these. But remember, if you have questions or comments about any of the helmets that we talk about today, leave those below, we'll get those answered. And if you have one of these helmets, well, help us out. Leave your feedback below. What do you like about it? What do you don't like about it? That's really gonna help other riders out who are looking to pick up their next lid. So I'm gonna go through, briefly talk about these, but remember, click on the link or head over to rockmonhvmc.com we're all done to pick up your next helmet. So let's get started with lid number one. All right, so helmet number one to get us started is the SC1 Grit from MSR. I've actually ridden in the SC1 Grit. Very comfortable helmet, very lightweight. Look, if you're looking for a quality, lightweight, comfortable helmet at a price point that's very affordable, this is one you should definitely check out. The price point on this helmet, you're only about $85. Like I said, I've ridden in it. Now here's something important to know about the sizing. When I ride in this helmet, I go down one size. I go down to a size small from a typical size medium that I usually wear. What I would recommend is that use the sizing guide on the product page, and that goes for any helmet that you buy. The way you measure your head is really simple. You're gonna go about an inch above your eyebrows, use a soft measuring tape or a string if you need to, and just measure the circumference of your head. But if you're at the low end of the scale or between two sizes, I would probably recommend going down one size. But keep in mind, all helmets are in a pair line, which means to get this helmet or any helmet that we sell for that matter, if you're not happy with how it fits, send it back in brand new unused condition and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. So with this, give you a little 360 view here. I actually like the look and the shell shape of this helmet. You're gonna be DOT and ECE certified. Another feature I really do like about this helmet is the weight, size medium comes in under three pounds. So it's a very lightweight helmet. Again, super comfortable. And also what I really do like is if you look at the inside here on the comfort liner, you've actually got, you can call it some memory foam up here at the top. So it just adds to the comfort of the helmet. So great helmet, again, great price point. You have sizes extra small through double XL. Also you have youth sizes available. And you notice a lot of cool colorways in this helmet. And what I recommend is check out the Axis gear from MSR. They have all matching colorways in the gear sets to match the helmet. So if you wanna match head to toe in some good looking gear, check out that set of gear. Again, this is the SC1 Grit from MSR. Helmet number two today in our lineup is, ironically, the two series from O'Neill Racing. Now with this helmet, you're gonna bump up a little bit in price, but still very affordable. You're gonna be about $107. And I'm, I'm actually a big fan of the two series. It's a very comfortable helmet. Fitment is true to size. Size medium is going to come in right around the three pound mark. You can be DOT and ECE certified. ABS shell, same as you saw with the SC1 grit. But here's what I really think for a lot of riders are going to be that deciding factor with the two series. It's going to be in the shell shape and the design of it. Looking at this helmet, you can see definitely has more of a European style look to it compared to the other helmets that we're going to show you today. I think some riders are going to gravitate towards it. Other riders might not like it so much. Me, myself, Personally, I really do like the look and shape of this helmet. You can see on the table, you got some cool colorways to choose from. O'Neill does have some matching gear sets also. So again, if you want to match head to toe, you can do that with O'Neill. But aside from that, some other features I like. You've got a good venting design. I really like the comfort liner inside here. You're going to have a multi-dented EPS liner. Size, as far as sizing goes, you're going to be extra small through double XL. Again, if you're looking for more or if you like more of that European style look to a helmet, check out the 2 Series from O'Neill Racing. All right, third up on the list, we have the V2 MX437 from LS2. Price on this, just over the O'Neill, you can be about 110 bucks. Now, as far as the fit goes on this helmet, size medium, fits true to size. I like the comfort liner, it's comfortable. What I did notice with this helmet is that it does sit a little bit higher on my head when I wear it. So it's not my favorite fitting helmet of the bunch. It's still comfortable, but again, that's why we have our apparel, our fit guarantee. So you can send any apparel item back if you're not happy with how it fits. But looking at it, here's what I like about it. You're gonna be DOT, ECE certified, a size medium, again, like the previous two helmets, lightweight, you're gonna be sub three pounds. But a couple unique features about it. First of all, if you ride with glasses, you'll notice here on the eye port that you have this little glasses logo here. And the reason for that is they actually designed the cheek pad and the comfort liner to be accommodating 
for riders that do wear glasses. And when I put this on, you can definitely feel that there is a pretty good gap around eyebrow height to allow for glasses to go inside the helmet. So if you're riding glasses, definitely something worth checking out. Also, first time we're seeing it, but here on the bottom, you can see with the cheek pads, emergency cheek pad removal system. Basically what, what it means is you just have these little tabs here at the bottom. So if you need to get the helmet off the rider, this just gives you an easy point to grab and pull the cheek pads out first. And the last feature that I do wanna mention with this helmet, is with their shell construction, it's pretty unique. So what LS2 uses is called Kinetic Polymer Alloy. It's proprietary to LS2. And basically, if I take this chin bar and press on it and flex it, you can see a lot more flex than what you're used to seeing with any other helmet. And the reason that they do that is that by using, you could say, a softer shell construction, LS2 says that this helmet does a better job of absorbing those big impacts. So it's a pretty cool safety feature, you know, when you're using that kinetic polymer alloy in that shell construction. You have sizes extra small through triple XL. Again, rock solid helmet. If you're rabbit glasses, definitely want to consider. And again, pretty cool using that kinetic polymer alloy. That is the V2 MX437 from LS2. All right, moving on down, we now have the MAV4 with MIPS from MSR. Now this is another helmet that I've actually ridden in personally. So the MAV4 with MIPS, as far as sizing goes, it's comfortable, it fits true to size, but here's what I noticed along some other riders here at Rocky Mountain, is when you put this helmet on, we felt like the cheek pads were pretty dang snug. But what we noticed though, is that just after a little bit of riding, those cheek pads do break in a little bit. So if that's what you're feeling right out of the box, be patient because the cheek pads will break in a little bit. But it's a very comfortable helmet. You can see you can be DOT and ECE certified. Now size medium comes in at three pounds, three ounces. So a little bit heavier than the other helmets, but still three pounds, three ounces really isn't that heavy. Now as far as the shell construction, you're being a polycarbonate shell. You've got nine intakes for venting, so good venting design, plenty of exhaust vents. As you can see, a lot of cool colorways to choose from also check out the NXT gear because they actually have matching color sets just like the SC1 Grit. Matching colorways for all the helmets that you're gonna see. And the NXT gear is rock solid. It's premium gear at a very affordable price point. So make sure to check that out. But here's some features that I love about the MAV4 with MIPS that you haven't seen yet. And I just said it, it's the MIPS liner system. MIPS stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. And what it is, it's a liner that goes between the comfort liner and the EPS inside the helmet. And what it does is it just creates a slip zone so that way the rider's head can slip or rotate in the event of a crash and it helps to mitigate those rotational forces. It's a safety feature that we've seen a lot of premium helmets, but you're getting that here with the MAV4. And the price point on this helmet can be about 130 bucks. Sizing, you have extra small through double XL, and you also do have use sizes available as well. So if you are shopping for, again, affordable helmet, cool colorways with some cool safety features, check out the MAV4 with MIPS. All right, so to finish everything off, the last helmet that we have up here, this is the i50 from HJC. So with the i50 price point, I'm gonna bend the rules a little bit here because the solid colorways are actually gonna be less than 150 bucks. If you wanna get a colorway in this helmet, you're gonna be just over the $150 mark. But a size medium in this helmet comes in at three pounds, three ounces. You can be DOT and ECE certified. And a cool fact about the i50, if you're familiar with Nate Adams, who is an icon when it comes to freestyle motocross, great guy, I've met him. He actually wears the i50. So you've got a top level rider wearing a helmet that you can get for sub 150 bucks. I think that's pretty cool. So with this, you're gonna get a good venting design, you've got a multi-density EPS liner, adjustable visor, helmet's comfortable, it fits true to size, you've got sizes extra small through double XL. But here's a pretty cool safety feature on the inside. We talked about that MAV4 with MIPS, you got the MIPS liner system. So what HJC is doing is what they call their slit. You can see it here, it's actually incorporated into the comfort liner itself. And what that stands for is sliding layer impact distribution. So it's meant to kind of function and give the same benefits as the MIPS liner system. So you can see you've got them right here, they're yellow, and what these are, they're actually full of a gel. So the gel can actually move freely, so it can move side to side, front to back. So that helps mitigate those rotational forces. But you also, because you have that gel, it also does help to absorb some of that linear impact as well, so straight up and down. So that's kind of their take on that rotational rotational energy management. So again, with the i50, I think it's a good price point. It's a comfortable helmet. I like the look of it. Again, it might just come down to rider preference which one you think looks the best. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But overall, again, the i50 from HAC, rock solid helmet. All right, so that does it for our top five helmets under $150. If you have questions or comments, remember, those go down there. To pick up your next helmet, you can click on the link or head over to rockymountatvmc.com Orders over $75 ship free. If you guys like this top five, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Channel, Hit that notification bell. That's going to keep you up to date on all the latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos that we're constantly filming. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.